another sex tip. We've been getting quite a few emails and we didn't quite realize how many young people were actually watching our shows. And we've heard you and this show is all about what to do if you're still holding your V card. I think the best way to go about this episode would be to go through and answer a few of the most common questions we've been getting. So let's get started. First off, what is virginity? Typically, a virgin is someone who has never had sexual intercourse before. However, most of the time, people have completely different ideas about what losing your virginity means. Some think of it as having heterosexual intercourse for the first time. Others include almost any sort of sex, including both anal, gay, lesbian, oral sex for the first times. Weird, huh? Next question. Does having oral sex, getting fingered, doing anal, giving a hand job, etc., etc., count as losing your virginity? This isn't really an easy question, and once again, everyone seems to have their own opinions. Even if you don't personally count any of these things, they can still transmit STDs. And no matter what you consider as still being a virgin, the most important thing is to make sure you're ready before you do anything sexual. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin, and you shouldn't feel like you have to rush into losing your virginity. Question number three. My boyfriend or girlfriend is not a virgin, but I am. What do I do? Don't let it get to you. Being a good lover is about sensitivity, not experience. That and you have the advantage of not having the pressure of being their first, and they are more experienced. This is a good thing because your partner will know what to expect because they've experienced it too. Now, question four. I'm worried that I'll look inexperienced if I admit that I'm a virgin, so I'll just keep it to myself. No, you have to tell your partner. Let them know that you've never been with anyone else. There's nothing about embarrassing about saying I'm a virgin. And if you're close enough to someone to be thinking about having sex with them, you're close enough to be honest with them. They know that it's your first time, your partner will be, will go easy on you. All right, question five, am I ready? If you're asking this question, then you're probably not ready. Do not let your friends pressure you. Just because other people are saying that they've had sex doesn't mean that they've actually done it. People talk and talk and talk. You have no real way of knowing that anything they're saying is even true. That and make sure you're ready or your partner's ready before you try anything sexual. Question six, will I ever, will either of us have an orgasm? It's not secret that first time sex has a reputation for not being too pleasurable, really. Some couples say that on the first time they enjoyed it and some say that they didn't enjoy it at all. Most of the time you don't have an orgasm on the first time you have sex. It's a very individual thing. Best advice I can give is don't expect too much from your first time. And just like anything else in life, it takes a long time to learn about your body and your partner's body. Okay, so last and final question, and probably the most common one actually, will it hurt? Well, yes. Many girls and guys worry that it will hurt the first time they have sex. Truth is, it can hurt. And some girls do bleed not because of any cutting or rubbing or anything, it's because a girl has what's called a hymen that breaks the first time she has sex. Now, I just want to leave you with one last thing, and that is take precautions. If you are mature enough to be thinking about having sex, you're mature enough to discuss condoms. Also, you don't want to be that guy or girl that proves all the sex ed teachers right and end up getting pregnant on your first try. And it's perfectly fine to ask your partner when the last time they were tested and how many people they've slept with since. So, that being said, if you're going to try sex for the first time, make sure it's fun. Don't let the stress get to you and make sure you're ready and please be safe. So that's it for this edition of Sex Tips. Email me any questions you have at justine at intercourse.tv. Thanks very much.